Hey guys, Nara here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you into the Let's Play episode of the Dragon Island demo. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, guys. We got some more hot, beefy dragon guys to take a look at. But let's jump right in. Alarm Shan, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> hey, did you receive a letter too? I pulled my own envelope out, and Napoleon pulled a similar one out of his pocket. I it's, I assumed everyone else had received the had received one. Can I ask why you were invited to the island? Oh, he's Napoleon. Yeah, okay. Um, well... Napoleon nervously clenched the hem of his shirt as he looked off to the side. I received an invitation to come on holiday. Ooh, okay. Information updated. Information updated. Okay. He was invited to the island to develop ocean-inspired desserts. The host is one of my, um... Let's just say he's a fan of mine. He wanted me to make an island-inspired dessert. Napoleon is a celebrity baker. Black... Doesn't want me to know why he's here. I guess I'll figure out why later. I wonder why these other guys were invited. Maybe I should ask around. Talk to someone else. Uh, the Green Eastern Dragon. Okay. Oh, hello there, handsome. I approached the suit-clad Eastern Dragon, who was sitting alone by the window. He was busy fretting over the parrot seated on his arm. As I came closer, he lowered the arm the parrot perched on and turned his eyes to me. Hello, I'm Henry. I'm going to be your lifeguard, I think. I'm Cheng Wei from Cheng and Associates. So glad to meet you. The parrot sidled up, to, up his arm to his jacket pocket, then reached its head in and pulled out a business card. Huh. Cheng Wei took the business card from the bird with his index and middle fingers, turned it up, and handed it to me. Wow, your bird's amazing. His name's Paulie, and he's very, and he's very clever indeed. Watch this. He took out an expensive-looking cell phone and played a sound while expectantly watching the parrot in his hand. Welcome to Chang and Associates! <laughs> wow! How's that, for, how's that for a trick? Amazing! Polly. Out of curiosity, how long have you had Polly? Let's see. Uh, let's go back. Um, Chang Wei. Eastern Dragon. Okay. Out of curiosity, how long have you had Polly? Oh, he's been with me since I established my law firm. Between handing out my business cards and welcoming clients, he's basically my personal assistant. A smart and clever little guy. I reached out and gently struck the top of Polly's head. As if in reply, Polly tilted his head and made a chattering noise at me. I've, re I've, been recently, I've recently been trying to teach him how to pluck out gray hairs. Is it working? Not really. He's either colorblind or he just really likes pulling, off, pulling on my beard. Reasons to come. Pretty naughty. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what brings you to the island? Actually, I was going to ask you the same thing. Be vague. I applied to be a lifeguard and my resume got picked. Ha! Huh, well, you don't have to worry about me. And not planning on going in the water? Please, eastern dragons like me are natural swimmers. That's true. I'm just going there on vacation, but I didn't expect to run into a lifeguard like this. So he's just on vacation. Is that really all there is to it? Is whoever invited you to the island the same same as this person? I pulled out the letter I received and showed him the signature on it. Hmm. Yes, that's him. He stroked his beard thoughtfully and continued. I know him. He's an old client of mine. The point is a celebrity baker. Let's see. He said that he was invited to vacation by an old client. Okay. The point is a celebrity baker. Black doesn't want me to know. Black doesn't want me to know why he's here. I guess I'll figure out why later. Chang Wei is invited here for vacation. I wonder why these other guys were invited. Maybe I should ask around. Let's see. Go to Black Napoleon Chang Wei. Talk to someone else. Stop talking. Let's go to the... Where are we? We're on the deck, right? No, we're in the cabin. Okay. We're in the cabin. Yep, we're in the cabin. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Um, we'll go to the bridge. What kind of guys we got on the bridge? I pushed open the cockpit door and stepped through. Leong was busy at the wheel, looking out at the water. We would already left land well behind us, and the sea was a bright and brilliant blue. Maybe you should talk to the others while I've got the time. Okay, we'll go to the deck then. <sighs> oh, it's a big boy. Oh, God. One of Toriel's lost children. Fuck. Let's see. I lifted the hatch and climbed onto the deck. Save. 
A goat dragon was squinting into the distance at the sea in front of him. In fact, I couldn't tell whether his eyes were open or not. There were also a very round eastern dragon holding onto the railing and looking intently down at the water. I was actually a little worried that he'd crush the railing with the sheer mass of his body. Squinty eyed dragon. I walked over to the goat dragon and stood with him at the bow of the boat. He turned his head to look at me, still squinting. Are you also here to seek the magnificent beauty of the purest blue, where the cerulean sky and the deep ocean mingle at the horizon? Yeah, I uh, came to look at the sea too. I'm Henry Heimlich, a lifeguard. I reached out and took his soft, fur-covered hand in mine. Brilliant red and crisp white on amber scales. Such an enthusiastic color scheme, yet so refreshing. I am Katsushika Yoshiheda, or Yoshi if you prefer. My eyes couldn't help but drift toward downwards to his apron. Yeah, we all know why, don't we? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's got- he's fucking smuggling a snake in there. Color. Isn't he particularly sensitive to color? I would not say I am sensitive, but as a student of art, I do try to cultivate an awareness of it. That's when I noticed the paint spots on his clothes. Wait, your clothes are all spotted with paint, but how come there's none in your hair? Yoshi stuck his tongue out at me. Are you saying you... are you saying you licked... Wait, aren't some paints really toxic? Not in small doses. Besides, what is beauty not worth a little danger? He's way too casual about poisoning. Reasons to come. Did you also receive a letter from the organizers? I pulled out my envelope and gestured to it, and Yoshi nodded. Yes, I received one. The paper, the paper's quality is quite excellent. I shall have to see about getting some for myself for sketch work. Does the signature ring a bell? Gordon Danum. Is a name I have not heard of. This is the first time I have received a letter from this individual. May I ask why? He said that he, as the owner of the Dragon Island, wanted me to come and paint his portrait on the beach as a promotion. Napoleon is a celebrity baker. Black doesn't want me to know he's here. I guess I'll figure out why later. Yoshi was asked to paint a portrait of our common employer. Chang Wei is invited here for vacation. I wonder why these other guys were invited. Maybe I should ask around. Why would he ask you to paint his portrait? Seems a little weird. Maybe he was a guest at my solo show last month at the Sun City Art Museum. But I would have noticed such a name on the guest list. Perhaps Gordon Danum is an alias. Hey, hey, why use a pseudonym when inviting people for a vacation? Perhaps it's some kind of surprise? Or perhaps he is simply shy? He really seems like a glass half full kind of fellow. <sighs> Alright, Big Billy Eastern Dragon. I cautiously approach the black Eastern Dragon leaning against the railing. He doesn't look black, he looks purple. Hello, I'm Henry, your lifeguard. Oh, hello, hello, I'm Motse. He turned around heavily, his protruding belly wobbling as he extended a thick hand to me. Since you're a lifeguard, you must be a good swimmer, eh? I'm alright, I guess. I'm good at getting drowning people to shore safely so I can do first aid. I'm not a pro swimmer or anything, so don't expect me to break any speed records. Sounds like the kind of fella I'm looking for. Wait, you're not my mysterious employer, are you? <laughs> I wish. I just run a seafood grill at the night market. What does that have to do with... You look like you could catch a fresh large fish intact and keep it alive. Look, I'm the grill master, and you could be my gill master. <laughs> you get it, son? I'm pretty sure you can't give a fish mouth to mouth. Night market. You said your grill is at a night market. Which one? One on Old Gluis Street, next to the university. Wow, I bet you must make a killing with all the students coming in. Sure, unless it's summer vacation and they all leave. But summer break isn't for another week or two, so why leave now? Eh, business always drops off in the weeks leading up to it. Besides, he stroked the hair on his stomach and grinned. Who would miss an opportunity to go to the legendary Dragon Island? There was a long, there was a long, long line of thick, coarse hair leading from his chest down to his enormous belly, like the white cap of a cresting wave. <sighs> I can imagine the pressure, like the weight of the ocean. Huh. Barbecue stall. By the way, you said you run a grill, right? Uncle Motse Seafood. Changed it from Uncle Motse Barbecue recently. Why the name change? Too many damn barbecue stands around. Figured I could use some rebranding. Explains why I've never heard of it. Judging by your figure, I'm guessing you ain't much for barbecue, eh? I only had it a few times in college. It seems a bit excessive for just one person. Tell you what, why don't you swing by my grill when we come back to Sun City? I don't suppose you'd give me a discount. If you can drag my fat behind out of the water, I'll let you eat for free. Ha <laughs> ha! The joke's on him, since he probably floats like a buoy. 
I'll even, I'll even throw in a platter of roasted oysters free of charge. That sounds good. Your belly. Once he seemed to notice that I was quietly looking at his stomach. See something you like, eh? No, it's just that your barbecue must taste good. Hey, you know what they say, never trust a skinny chef. Uh-huh. I ain't modest, take pride in my work. Whether it's the ingredients, the sauces, or the cooking. I ride my bike to the seafood market and get everything fresh every day. I make my own sauces and marinades from scratch. Do you ride? When grilling, I control the temperature with extreme precision so it's just right. It sounds like you work hard every day, but shouldn't that mean... Well, I have to make sure everything tastes good, so I may have to test a skewer, a test a skewer, or three. I thought I had muted that. Damn it. Out of curiosity, did you get a letter, too? Yeah, good thing I opened it, too. I almost used it for kindling. So, why were you invited here? Mutsay slowly patted his stomach twice. I was asked to take charge of the barbecue for the beach party, of course. So, whoever invited you, he should be one of your regulars, right? Yeah, probably. Does this mean, does this name ring a bell? Let me think. Nope, not really. I don't usually pay much attention to the signatures on the checks, you know. I guess so. So Mutsay is a grill master and Napoleon is a celebrity baker. Black doesn't want me to know why he's here. I guess I'll figure out why later. Yoshi was asked to paint a portrait of her common employer. It seems that Shang Wei is really the only one here for vacation. Someone else. Someone talking. It's time to see the captain in the cockpit. I pushed open the cockpit door and stepped through. Leon was busy at the wheel, looking out at the water. The sun was slowly descending towards the horizon, and the sea breeze was beginning to cool. Maybe I should talk to the others while I've got time here. Wait, wait, what? 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 Oh. Captain Cockpit. No. Okay. I'd like to talk to him. <laughs> Oh, so what kind of law do you do? Any strange case with twists or surprises and turnabouts? Ha! I wish. Unfortunately, most real-life legal cases aren't as dramatic as a Grace attorney trial. Running a law office isn't a game, but I do my best. Having said that, I'll admit that I may have chosen law school after playing the Grace attorney trilogy. <laughs> and at my level of practice, I'm able to be a bit picky when it comes to clients. Hey, would you lower your standards a little if you never have a satisfactory case? That kind of thing hasn't happened yet. But if you have any legal troubles, legal problems, feel free to contact me. They'll warn you, my rate is 5,000 bucks per hour. That's fucking crazy. That would blow through my entire savings in less than a minute. I wonder if he'd accept other forms of payment. Maybe he'd shove me under the desk and pull down his legal briefs. <laughs> Growling at me to be quiet as I struggle to breathe and give my oral argument because his next client will be coming in soon. If that's the case, I wouldn't mind chatting as long as he likes. All right, talk to someone else. Talking. Time to see the captain in the cockpit. All righty. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe I should talk to the others while I've got time. Nope. Let's talk to the captain. The work of the ferry. Okay. So, sir, how does it feel to work on the ship? It's fine. You travel between islands a lot? Nope. So just between the island and the city, then? Yep. Well, that's not bad. You get to see the sights on Dragon Island a lot, right? Leon shrugged his shoulders and continued to look at the sea. This is a really nice boat. Is it yours? Nope. It's the company's. Most ship captains seem eager to talk about their boat, so I figured... That's a stereotype. Well, this is different. You were all friendly and enthusiastic before we set out. It's the script. So I'm backstage or something now? Pay no attention to the dragon behind the curtain. That's funny. Host. Leon doesn't seem to be chatty, but maybe if I keep talking, I can get something out of him. So I guess we're technically colleagues, since we were hired by the same person. He looked at me and frowned, his ears twitching twice. Uh, yep. Do you know how who your employer is? How should I put this? I don't really know much. Oh. Um... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Let's do that again. Let's go back. 
How should I put this? I don't really know much. Really, I don't really know much about whoever's in charge. Since the only time they communicate with me is through my paycheck, I only know for sure who, only know for sure that the employer seems to be the owner of this Dragon Island place. At any rate, it's strictly business. Nothing more. I don't ask any dumb questions, and in return, they don't ask me any. If I was the snooping kind, I probably wouldn't even be here. I heard a rumor, just a rumor, that one of the previous drivers started getting nosy, and one of the guests was a high-ranking gangster, and they... Well... Sorry, I think I've said too much. That's alright, keep going. I'm not so sure. He frowned again. It's the first time he hired me. Looks like that's all I'm getting from him. That said, the whole strong yet silent type is perfectly fine if he knows how to make me scream. Although, he might just fall asleep on me right afterward. Oh well, I can at least cuddle him. Alright. An island began to rise in the distance. Is that Dragon Island? Yep. So, are there any other guests coming, or are they already on the island? Dunno. Okay. The island cleared his throat and pressed a button on the console before leaning over to a small upright mic. Attention all passengers, this is your captain. We are about to arrive at Dragon Island. Please return to your seats during the approach and in the docking at the pier. Thank you. I should get back to the cabin. Everyone else was in their seats as I entered the cabin. Let's go with... Black. I might go with Black this run. He's a... Uh, he's a cutie. The boat was a little shaky this close to the shore. I held... I held the back of the chair and took a seat next to Black. Looks like we'll arrive at Dragon Island soon. I wonder what our arrangements are for the next few days. I just hope the bed on the island is soft enough. If there's going to be a feast of some sort, I'll end up lounging in bed for the duration while I digest. What are you looking forward to? Montse's meat or Napoleon's dessert? At this point, at this point, either one sounds amazing. I'm not... My tastes are none of your business. Hmm. Does it have something to do with eating? I guess you could call that progress. Let's see. What we got. I seem to think of people in a bad light at all. Great joke. Okay. <sighs> After that, the conversation just sort of died out, leaving us in silence. The only noise that broke the silence was the up was the roar of the cruise ship's engine and the sound of waves lapping at the hull. Maybe I should put on some sunscreen, considering how sunny the island's bound to be. I opened the carry-on bag I brought with me and took out the sunscreen. A sea breeze blew into the cabin through a nearby window, but just as I closed my eyes to enjoy the cool breeze... Ah! My letter! Attention passengers, please remain calm and stay in your seat. <sighs> Everything happened so fast I didn't have time to even think. I lunged out of my seat towards the open window, grabbing wildly at the letter as the breeze whipped it through the air. There may be some sudden shaking and... Ah! Watch yourself! Oh, shit! All of you, get in your seats and brace for impact! I was leaning halfway out of the open window, my legs kicking in the air as I finally grabbed the envelope, and then the boat began to shake. Now all I had to do was pull myself back in. Three! Ah! Two! I staggered and almost falling out of the window. One! Shit! Brace! My body is falling while my mind descends. Alright. I'm gonna pause it right there. Oh, that was funny as hell. What the hell did they hit? Did they just come upon just a random rock? And <laughs> Not a very good captain, I'd say. Oh my god. You had one job, Captain. You had one job. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye